Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video is a DIY video. Um, my parents bought me a vintage metal frame back in November for Christmas. Um, the only catch was I had to sand it down and spray paint it myself. Um, so over the past maybe about three weeks, um, I've been sanding down the frame and just a few days ago my dad actually put up uh, the frame and spray painted um, about two coats of it. I think two coats. Um, keep in mind, I, we live in California so the weather is bipolar. Like today the weather is really gloomy, it's overcast, um, very cold, um, and it's probably going to rain. Um, so we're planning on doing a couple more coats just so it's a, you know, solid finish and we're not having to worry about there being any, you know, missed spots or any sort of streaks. Um, throughout the video or like there's a few clips, um, that I do explain, you know, what more or less that we are using. Um, we do use a power sander and I do use the power sander by myself. So this is like safe. <laughs> it's not harmful to anybody. It's, it's an easy project. Um, easy in the aspect that it's easy to do, not easy like the sanding part was pretty difficult to do. My arms were sore for a couple of days um, just because there's a lot of little grooves, there's a bunch of nooks and crannies, and on this specific um, frame itself, um, there was like stickers <laughs> on the headboard that were completely hard to just sand off, like it took forever. So um, why don't we go ahead and get into the video if you guys have any questions or comments. Um, please leave it in, in the comments bar down below. Um, I'm going to try my best to explain everything, um, but it's all pretty self-explanatory. Um, and I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Next to the subscribe button is going to be a little bell. Um, if you click on that, you'll be notified every time that I do upload a video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so for starters, we're using um, my dad's DeWalt um, power sander, um, which just pretty much looks like this. Um, it has a little bag back here to pick up the, the dust. Um, so pretty much what we're going off of what my dad said, we are going to use um, the 100 grit. Um, the lower the number of the grit, the rougher the paper is going to be. So we're going to use this first to sand down everything um, and then we're going to go in with this 120 grit to sort of like buff out. Um, I was using like nail file references and he was like so confused at what I was talking about. But pretty much we're going to use this one first. It's a sticky pad so you kind of just peel it off and then um, line up the holes and just stick it back on. Obviously this one's old, so we're not gonna use this one, so I'm gonna take this one off, put a new one, and then we're gonna get going. Okay, so this is the frame. Um, we got it at, at an antique store here in California, in the valley where I live. Um, it's called Exeter, this is uh, the town. Um, so it has the footboard, the headboard, and the rails. Um, as you can see, it has like, Somebody put stickers, so I'm going to have to sand all this down, and there's, like, rust. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get going. Um, obviously, this is safe enough for anybody to do, or else my dad would not have left me here by myself to do it. So, we're going to go ahead and get started.
So then it's going to be what? A matte finish? Once it starts to dry, the shininess will it'll start looking more like that color than this one. Hi, Princess. what type of spray paint we got um but obviously you know it's real self-explanatory how you spray paint things um my dad did a great job just trying to show um he didn't want to be too much on camera um he's camera shy so it is what it is but we did use um this a uh, spray paint it's rust oleum in a satin finish um it says it's going to be like the color of the cap um which is sort of a matte finish um to be honest, it did come out sort of shiny at first, but as, as it dried, um, it sort of gave it a matte finish. Sorry if you can hear Maddie in the background. She's upset because I made her go outside. But she's in the background barking her life away because she wants to come back in. But she had to go pee, so she had to be out there. But anyways, um, yeah, like I was saying, as it dried, it did give it sort of a matte finish. It does have a, a shiny look to it, but... Um, and all in all, it's it's a matte finish. But yeah, it looks like this. And it's a satin finish. It's black. Um, it's for indoor and outdoor. Outdoor um, works on metal, wood, and, you know, obviously other things. Um, according to my dad, this is supposed to last a very, very long time. Um, but we shall see. If I have to touch it up, like, I'll keep you all posted. But um, I didn't get to set it up yet. I was waiting for my dad to come home. Um to set it up for me um again life happens and you know he's a busy man I'm a busy person as well um so I'm just waiting for him to to set it up and then I will post a picture probably on my Twitter and my Instagram just so you guys can see a before and an after so keep a look out for that um and then obviously in my other videos um I do film in my room a uh, majority of the time you'll be able to see the frame and I'll, I'll make sure to mention it in my but other than that you guys that's pretty much it um like I said it's really easy really self-explanatory um and it's not very hard to do again I did majority of the hard work like standing down was the hardest part but as you get through that you know the spray painting part it makes it so much easier it goes on you know so smooth there's no streaks no chips nothing and it looks absolutely great I'm so happy with the way it came out um so if you guys like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up, um, and I hope you guys subscribe so you get to see what other videos I have planned for the future. So until next time, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.